everyone! Welcome to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Um, it's been like 10 minutes since I finished Assassin's Creed 2, because I thought, I was, why not? Was, let's do it! Um, so, uh, I guess I should get into it really quickly. Um, I, I, I uh, hopefully you finished my first Assassin's Creed 2 Let's Play before watching this one, as uh, it has gone up on YouTube recently. If you haven't, you should start there. I'll have the link in the description below. Um, as I am continuing the story of Desmond, Miles, and Ezio Auditore um, in my bid to replay some of the old Assassin's Creed games that I love so much. Uh, this is not a blind Let's Play. I have played this once before. In fact, I do have my blind Let's Play of it, on my old channel, uh, which I will also have the link below if you want to watch it, though it's really old. I, I don't I don't know if you'll want to. Um, but it has been... I have not played this game since the year it came out. I played it once when it came out, and I have not played it since. So I remember very little of it. I remember very little of the story and very little of everything. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Oh, That's about it. Let's do this. Oh, uh, one thing real quick. Uh, because of the way I do Let's Plays now... I will probably have played most, if not all, of this game before you even see episode one, uh, simply because otherwise my upload schedules will be so inconsistent because I don't know when I have time to play these. Which means that uh, while you are welcome to give advice, uh, it probably won't do much good because the game's I'm pretty much through it. So enjoy the ride. Leave comments, of course, always. You never know if I missed something. Um, but uh, I look forward to interacting with you guys. And uh, let's do this. Let's get started. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Here we go. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I do. I know I didn't. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my time, exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Peace of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. some diagnostics. I'll get back to you.
Okay. That's good, I guess. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. Sweet. Hang on one second while I adjust the game volume. There we go, that's better. I think it was a bit loud. At least it was for me. Oh, Ezio. You're just a tool. What a tool you are! And Rodrigo is not dead. Because you didn't kill him. For plot reasons. Why didn't he take the staff? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe he couldn't? Oh, okay. Well, that's why he didn't take the staff. Bye. So I have no Apple of Eden, I have no staff, I have no Rodrigo, I've been stabbed in the gut. Did we forget about that? Did we forget about that, Ezio? You're stabbed. You're stabbed in the gut. You should be in a lot of pain right now. Better in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Uncle, what can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Hey, puppy. My dog's saying hi. He wants attention. But I'm busy. I'm playing games and stuff, man. Okay, I don't really need that. Thanks, though. Wait. Yeah, okay, got it, all right. I got it, I got it. Right trigger? What? Right trigger, oh, that's different. That's interesting, I might have to change that. Or not, I don't know. I might be able to get used to it. Oh, right, hang on. There we go. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. All right, this is gonna be weird. Can I change? Can I change, uh... Controls? I can't. Alright, well, I'll just have to get used to it. Alright, fine. That's cool, I can do this. Hi. Cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand! We must go, Ezio, now! Ah! What? Is it the voice of the devil? Hold B. Away from them. Take the push. Gotcha. Hold. Okay, there's shove people. Gotcha. All right. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. What? No, it didn't. He stabbed you, but good. Ezio's just being tough. 
barely. I mean, all he got was a bit of my gallbladder and my liver. A lot it's of a my liver. Fight. What are you doing? Oh, hey. Uh, can we turn off uh, our HUD? Let's turn off health meter, controls, uh, updates keep on, weapons off, tutorials on for now, business eye off, money off, mini map on. Saving you! There we go. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agree! You okay, still have so some skills. That is, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Buona questa! Excellent! Nice! Good one! Impressive! Man, this is so different. I'm gonna have to get used to this. Oh! Hey! What if I go to fists? Let's go to fists. What? Nice. Okay. Oh, right. I was trying to run the old fashioned way. Horse! I need a horse! Wait, I need a horse! Uh. Hey! Stop it! Woo-ha! Woo-ha! Nice. Mario, where are you going? Where? Okay. Why were you riding the horse then? Oh. No. Get, get, get off. Off. There you go. Uh, an X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're gonna be attacked, you counter kill. Okay, well. There we go. Well, in combat, press A to kick. Break oh, that's new. That A is new. I'll have to remember that. I remember fisticuffs being more viable in this game than in the last game. But I really don't remember that much. Where'd Mario go? There you are. Uh. Hi. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Sorry, Mario. <laughs> Too slow, old man. I should take this time to point out, much like the last Let's Play, I do not plan on having everything recorded on camera. The story will certainly be. I won't be doing any main story or main, like, side missions off camera. But I don't intend to record myself getting every viewpoint or every side mission or every Assassin's Tomb or every tower take over or whatnot. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. I do have the apple. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Ah, 
It's so nostalgic. Oh god, the Coliseum! <laughs> oh no! If you invest in it, okay then. Fifteen hundred, so this is a year later. The turn of the century. And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See. Si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? We upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. So we're 38, 39, it's 1500, he was born, he was, no, in, in 76, he was 17. So 86, 96, that's 24 years, so 27, 37, 41. Ezio is 41 years old. Good lord, he looks good for his age. Yeah. Mario's gotta be like Welcome back, Ezio. 60s. Ezio! Look, it is Ezio! Let me see! Buongiorno! Salve, Mario! It's good to Look be home. The two of them. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Ha! Huh. Brother! Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Itzio. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. Interesting. Um, I see. So there's more little checkpoint thingies. So, yeah, I don't plan on doing... I gotta remember these controls. I don't plan on doing every... Um, every part of the game on camera. I'll do a lot of the side quest stuff. Um, like Assassin's Tombs. I'll do a couple on camera, maybe. The um, men in this town are no better than little girls. An army should be helping me. And look, no one. I'm here. I hope. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh, what do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he oh. rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am <laughs> sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Uh huh. No, but uh, my time to record is limited, so many things I'll be doing off camera because I have time to play when I can't record. So, just the way How it is. about earning my silence? I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. 
She gives him, like, a biscuit. It's a really good biscuit. Sweet. All right. Oh, gosh. I can't. It's going to take me time. I know I keep saying that. I keep wanting to press my buttons from Assassin's Creed 2. Um... But yeah, 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 yeah. There's also times where I want to just play a game but not record, you know? Because when you're recording, you're you're performing. That's just the way it is. And sometimes I've had a long day and I just want to play. So uh, in times like that, I will simply... Uh... Ooh. Can I... Nope, well, that didn't work. Okay, well, how does one get up there? Oh, that way. Gotcha. Um... So while you definitely won't miss any story beats, and you will see a lot of gameplay, I'll do a lot of, like, viewpoints and some tower captures. Because I remember this game has, like, a version of, like, capture this territory type thing. I just won't do them all. It's going to be a... This is a let's play that focuses mostly on the story. I will, of course, let you know, just like with Assassin's Creed 2... When I have done stuff off camera, the next time I start recording, I'll let you know what exactly I have done. Um, to keep you guys up to date. It looks nice. This game looks nice. I mean, for a game that's like 11, or no, I'm sorry, probably 7 or 8 years old. It looks nice. I don't, uh, really? Oh, I guess I can't climb that. That makes sense. Okay, it's still above me, eh? Uh, get up there, Ezio. Ezio, get up there. I guess I can't. Weird. Well, uh, oh, I see. Well, this doesn't help. Unless it's all the way at the bottom, I bet you anything it is. Come on, climb it. Ezio, climb the darn thing. What the heck? Dude, just climb the wall. Climb it. Come on. Wow. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Buongiorno. Ezio. Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. Uh-huh. Hey. Hey, come here. Stop it. Come here. Oh. Come here. Come here. Oof. I'm gonna get you. What the? Thank you. Uh, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Yeah, that's definitely a thing. That's that that's true. Uh, all right. No, I think this is outside. Aha! It's up there. All right. Well, we gotta go inside to get up there think. Maybe we can go this way. 
Maybe. Let's give it a try. Or maybe not. Things. I forgot about those. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. <laughs> He's so happy to not have to go around murdering people anymore. Good for you, Etsy. Good for you. Right, let's take a medicine. Oh, okay. Where is this guy? Bet you he's up there somewhere. Oh, no, he's right here. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from Francia. A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. Yeah, I mean, he's so right. <laughs> what have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Uh. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Ooh, I'm a try a cannon. Aim at something to test the alignment. Okay. Ooh. Yes, because cannons reloaded that fast. That was a thing that happened. I think even efficient teams the took mechanism is fine. 30 seconds the problem or something? Is cannon. Oops. Again. There we go. There we go. We'll never use this again in the game. Perfect. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now for the other one. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very fun. <laughs> now fix the second cannon. Nice, very nice. Ooh 
Hello, and welcome to the end of the episode. You made it. Congratulations. Uh, as I mentioned in an update, I'm going to, at the end of episode, start answering questions from you, the viewers. So first off, I'd like to say, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below so I can add them, because I'll always leave them questions. But also, that I've gotten help from a lovely co-host, Blue. Hello. Hello. She's off camera. You can't see her, but she's going to read the questions for me so that I don't have to try and read them myself because uh, cats can't read. So uh, question number one. Question number one. Stitch Skate asks, what is your favorite historical conspiracy theory? My favorite historical conspiracy theory. Um, well... I mean, there's that time that Canada tried to develop the Gadar. Did you ever hear about that? It's kind of crazy. Canada was in the 1960s, or maybe it was the 50s? I think it was the 60s. They were actually so worried about homosexuals that they hired a college professor to invent Gadar, uh, a machine that could test if you were homosexual or not, which is utterly ridiculous because people are stupid. Um, but that's not really what I'd call historical. It's a bit too recent. You know what I would pick? I would pick the conspiracy theory that William Shakespeare was never real. And the thing I like about that is it proves how hard history is. Because in history, we have to rely upon the accounts. Like, how do we know William Shakespeare existed or anyone existed for that matter? Elizabeth I, how do we know she existed? Well, typically we know because there's so many accounts of her. There's so many different accounts that have from, from different people uh, from different places that say this person existed. And that's how we know. So William Shakespeare, we only know he existed because of his plays and certain writings about his plays. And it is possible, however unlikely, that Shakespeare didn't actually exist. Maybe it was a pseudonym. Maybe it was someone pretending to be a William Shakespeare or a pen name, like Benjamin Franklin had uh, a pen name when he wrote things. So um, I don't think it's true, but I like it because it proves how difficult history can be. So, you don't think the aliens, uh, you don't think aliens built the pyramids? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to talk to Jack O'Neill and Stargate SG-1 on that one. <laughs> That's going to be it for this episode, everyone. See you next time. Bye.